Please welcome El Campeón del Triple A, Alberto El Patrón! Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, Johnny Mundo! Johnny Mundo is returning to the ring after three years. This is something you won't want to miss. I want to take him out for dinner. Jesus, man. Introducing first, the team of Big Rick, Killshot, and the Mac. Oh, from the smoke will emerge the unmistakable silhouette of Big Rick. And bringing up the rear, his cousin, the Mac. And all the way in the back, a very unique, brand new luchador, Killshot. That's not a very good example of being a pro athlete smoking as you're coming into the ring, dude. Why not? Papa Macanudo like babyface Finster. Why not? And his opponent from El Paso, Texas, Chavo Guerrero. If you want to talk about wrestling history, brother, get a good look at Chavo Guerrero Jr. What a way to kick off Lucha Underground. Two of, if not the, greatest families in all of Lucha Libre represented here tonight. Brother, these guys' families have gone back over 50 years. Chavo coming from the legendary family of the great Goy Guerrero, Hector Mondo, Chavo Sr., and of course, rest in peace, my brother, Eddie Guerrero. Again, Mundo's being caught! Look at the hyperextension on that elbow! Hey. Mundo screaming, oh no! Mike, that's Molina! That's Molina, and if you are a longtime fan, you'll know the relationship between Molina and Mundo. If you're joining us for the first time, these two have been associated for their entire careers. We have not seen Molina near a wrestling ring in nearly five years. She picked a hell of a night to show back up. End of the world. Mundo with the cover. Referee comes to. One, two. No, oh, it's good to go Fighting all over this galaxy. Oh. Picking up techniques to fight. fight. Using my style. Paul London is one of the most decorated competitors in our sport. And the harder I fought, the more I disappeared. But I realized that I was lost. But then I started following the white rabbit. And everything changed. Jeremiah Crane! We're starting to learn more and more about the psyche of this fighter here. Unstable and brooding are words used to describe Jeremiah Crane. I think he drinks a lot of caffeine. Look at his eyes, you know, he's bucking. Cuts only half his hair. Does that mean he's only half here or half over there? Is the class empty or is the class half full? Matthew, I'm throwing them at you today, kid. You better wake up and get on board to the crazy train because that's what's about to happen in front of your eyes here today in the temple, son. And his opponent from Barry, Oklahoma, the Savage, Jake Strong! In this world, a lot of people like to talk. They fill the air with falsehoods, but the entire mountain of lies will crumble under the weight of one truth. And that truth is the man you look at right there is a bona fide, certified, badass, the Savage, Jake Strong. Very, very impressive response from the believers. You know, they don't just accept anybody, but if you're an ass-whooping monster, you're in. No, baby. I do have something to say, though. I'll tell you a story real quick. There was once a big, tough warrior 
who want to see a little monk, and he barked in a voice accustomed to instant obedience, teach me about heaven and hell. The monk looked up at the mighty brave warrior and replied this in utter disdain, I can't teach you anything about heaven and hell, you're dumb, you're dirty, you're a disgrace, you're an embarrassment. The hybrid creature, the one that lives on the edge, tempting fate every day, let's see what destiny has in store for PJ Black. What's he doing? Brother, he's taking Drago right on the... Talk about violence! That, my friends, is Tommy Dreamer! An entrance by random draw from San Diego, California! Lucha Libre had a face, if ever Lucha Libre had a heart and a soul, 